I'm going to try today to surpass Paul Macbeth's rating. My phone's recording, as you can see here. This is disc golf game. Why not throw an ace with this buzz? Okay, well, you just saw me swipe up and not even throw the disc, so that's great. i got to throw this in for 98 feet. Paul Macbeth who? Pull up, pull up, pull up, like a Winnebago, and I came in with the walls, we came here to play though. This got my magos, this got my magos, this got my magos, this got my magos. Ooh, I'm just so dynamic, on another latitude that can't stand it. Hey everybody, welcome back to BDGC. It's been a long time since I've done a disc golf game video, so I'm going to do that right now. Um, my phone's recording, as you can see here. This is disc golf game. Uh, I like to be pretty, uh, you know, modest, you know, but uh, my rating on here is 1060, so I mean, like, Paul Macbeth who? Uh, uh, I'm going to try today to surpass Paul Macbeth's rating of 1060, try and get at 1061. I'm playing Alder Beach. I've never done a video on this course, so uh, here we go. Okay, this is hole one here on Alder Beach. Um, I'm gonna show the whole previews off. Par four, hole one. It's uh, hard for a lefty to do this, but I have to start with a two in order to beat my score. I'm trying to beat a 24. Also have the audio on here, so hopefully you can hear that. Going a road runner, a little bit of hyzer. Very unstable, it should flip up and turn over. Oh yeah, that's looking perfect. That's heading right towards the basket. Okay, 28 feet. That should be an eagle too. If I can hit this putt right here. Putt with PA4s on the game. Yeah, that's how we do it. So uh, you might See a little guest appearance for my cat. He's uh, rather busy running around here. So, this hole two, another par four. This one for a lefty. I'm not sure about a righty how they play this, but for a lefty, it's not really toable in my opinion. There may be some lefties that can to it, but that's not me. So, I'm gonna throw this crank. If we get pretty far up the hill, please don't hit that tree. Please don't hit that. Or just land directly behind the tree and roll down the hill a little bit. That's fine. Okay. So, throw this. It's got me with a roadrunner. I'm definitely not throwing a roadrunner here. I'm going to try this rock plus here. Hopefully it'll turn over some. Uh, a little bit. 49 feet. Downhill. 50 feet. Ooh, this is going to be a tough putt. I got to hit this. It's got to happen. Well, if that don't make you mad. All right, let's just tap this one in. That's a par. Definitely wanted a three on that one, but we're gonna keep going here. Oh, okay. I accidentally skipped the whole preview. My bad. Didn't mean to do that. Put a little bit of hyzer on this crank here. All right. Let's, let's throw it straight down the gut. Hopefully it'll flip up. Flip, come on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now that's looking great. I should definitely be able to get down there for a two. I don't know if you hear this, but my cat is going crazy over here. Hey, what you doing? What you doing, cat? Okay. Yeah. Our cat is uh, pretty much a dog. He likes to play fetch. And that's a true story. All right, I'm going to throw this pure straight down to it. Put it under the basket for a two, or a three, rather. Oh, no! It turned over on me. 
31 feet. Gotta make this happen. And missed it. Unfortunate. Okay. Tap that one in. That's another part. It don't look like we're beating the score today. Although I am going to keep playing. Probably not going to record it all. This is a decent round, but not the best. I'm going to keep trying to play and try and beat this score. So, Hole 4, par 4. This one, I'm not sure if it's tuable. But you know what? We're going to find right out. I'm going to get this really flippy destroyer here. I know that sounds silly, but it's true. Put some hyzer on it. And throw it straight up the gut. Get some flip. Get some flip. Definitely not enough flip. But I got an approach here. Yeah. I should be able to put that near the basket. Let's just throw this in the PA4. Soft shot. Under the basket. Okay. 13 feet. Not too bad. Let's just tap this little guy in here. Okay, there we go. That's a birdie. Would have liked a two there, but never count on. Oh my gosh, I forgot to show the whole preview again. I'm terrible at this. Uh, this is an interesting one. So we got to put a lot of hyzer on this very understable road runner. This road runner here. And throw him up the hill. Yes, we will. I'm sorry. Oh, that is looking great-tastic. Okay. 39 feet. Might be able to do this. Put this put in a basket. And no. That's okay. That's a tap-in. That's going to be a bird. Or no, that's a par. I'm sorry. This is a par cruise. Okay, here we go. I'm not going to skip the whole preview. Hole six, par three, little lefty shot. Probably going to throw a PD2. Try and throw it right in the basket. Ooh, if I could get an ace right now, that would... Ooh, that would be good. Ooh, that would be good. So let's put a little bit of hazer on this guy. A little more distance. Throw it kind of soft. Yeah, it's looking good, looking good. It's okay. 21 feet from the basket. Should be a two. And by should, I mean it is. So, uh, moving on to hole seven here, par three. As you can see, directly over water. That is a hell of a pond. Um... I'm minus four right now. I'm not sure what par is for the whole course, but it's not too bad. The reason I'm doing this video is uh, not really able to get out and film a whole lot. We've been uh, kind of busy on our own ways here. Kind of hard to get our whole crew together, so. Got to get some content out, and I figure why not do this? Why not throw an ace with this buzz? Okay, well, you just saw me swipe up and not even throw the disc, so that's great. My girlfriend Amanda's over here laughing at me. Wish that could be cut out. Might be an outtake. And I know I said ace, but really I meant throw it six, 76 feet from the basket. So Ace, 76 feet away. Now, who's counting? Who is counting? Alright, I'm going to throw this directly in since that worked last time so good saying that. No. Okay. Tap this in for a three. That's a par. Unfortunate. Still four down. Hole eight. This is a par four. It's definitely tubable. So this could be a two-stroke swing. Could be a eagle not a McMahon, just an eagle. Hey Desmond. I'm sure the cat will 
come up here and see you before the video is over. Okay. What do we want to throw here? Let's get up on that destroyer again. Put some hyzer on it. A little bit less. Okay, right there. Let's throw it over here. See if we can get the flip up and turn over some. Oh yeah, okay, well. Hit the limb, didn't want that to happen, but you know what? It, oh, there he is. Speak of the cat, or devil, whatever. Alright, that didn't go as planned. Could you calm down? Trying to beat the world champ, the five time world champion here, but. Sheesh. Okay. Let's just throw this PA4 again. Good upshot disc for this game. Well, maybe not because that's 54 feet away from the basket, so I just want to. Let's make this putt. Let's make this putt. Let's fly directly towards the basket near the water. 24 feet from the basket. It'll be a. Oh my god, I did it again. Swapped up and didn't even throw the disc. This is embarrassing. Okay. There we go. But, got that putt. So, um, I'm uh, going on to hole nine here. Par three. I'm going to try and two it. I'm trying to two every hole on here, but it's obviously not happening. Um, I'll be playing a tournament, a PDGA tournament. Uh, Team BDGC's Adam Stanton is hosting here pretty soon. So um, let me know in the comments if you want to uh, if you want to see a tournament vlog come back this year. I know I kind of stopped last year, but if you're wanting to see something like that again, let me know when I may do one for that. Okay, let's try this traveler here. Just fly straight, that's all I want. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Don't hit that. Oh, that's gonna be part. Absolute nine feet, I mean. There's a reason I'm ten sixty, I'm just saying. Okay. That is a oh it's a birdie. I thought that was an eagle. Okay. So that was a twenty seven. Uh, not exactly the score I was looking for. As you can see, I'm still 1060, unfortunately. I gotta get, you see down here in the bottom corner, I gotta beat 24 to move up to 1060. So. Anyway, um, video's not over there. I'm going to beat this today. I showed the full round there so you can see the whole course. You're not gonna see the whole round? But you'll see the last few holes. If I, if I know I'm shooting a good round, I'm going to hit record. So, uh, keep watching. And if I don't beat 1060, then the video's over here. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. As always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help promote disc golf in your area. And try this game out. It's very fun. There's tons of fun disc golf games out there on your phones. Disc golf game is absolutely my favorite. So fun. Anyway, um, maybe the video's over unless I've beaten the score. If not, you'll see it. Okay, so I told you that I would tune back in if I am going to uh, beat 1060, and I think I've got it. If I hit this putt and birdie the next hole, I should do that. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine. Okay. Well. Hold up, that's... Okay. That's still eight down. If I can two this. Alright. Alright, this is it. This is hole nine. I don't know if I showed the whole preview before, but I'm showing it now. If I can two this hole, I shoot nine down, which would be 23, and I will be 1061. I mean... 1060 already, that's pretty dang good. I, 
welcome to any offers from uh, disc golf companies that want to sponsor me. Uh, I'll uh, listen to any offers. I mean, maybe I'll turn something down, but we'll see what happens here. Oh, yeah. But no, no. Mm. Oh, no. I messed up. I gotta throw this in for 98 feet. <laughs> All right. I can't believe that just happened. As you see up in the corner, 1061. I mean, Trying to be very modest and very humble about my game, but Paul McBeth is only 1060, guys. I'm just saying. Uh, 1061 rated now. I know it's a joke. I'm just being silly. Uh, there's people who are literally, literally uh, my friend Nick, uh, who's also on Team BDGC 2020. Uh, Nick Jeffers, he's like number 87 in the world. He's like 1080 something rated, but I wanted to get a video of me passing that 1060 just to be funny i thought it'd be a good video so uh, and i haven't really mentioned anything on youtube about team bdgc 2020 check out our facebook page we have put together a team of 24 players for 2020 uh players who we think are uh very they're very adamant about growing the sport and uh Really good players, got a good mind, uh, just great people. We're trying to do everything we can in 2020 to grow disc golf in our area and in other people's areas too. We got somebody in the team uh, in Virginia and actually somebody in the team uh, in Germany. So a guy from North Carolina. I mean, we got uh, lots of people on the team. So anyway, that's it for the video. I just wanted you to see me passing that 1060 rating. That's all I'm saying right there. Any companies that, you know, want to throw a little bit of something, something sponsorship my way. Uh, my email is uh, always in the link that, or down in the description. So, I mean, that's all you got to do. Hit me up. Okay, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. As always, just like I said earlier, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help promote disc golf in your area. Thanks for watching. Pull up, pull up, pull up. I gotta throw this in for 98 feet. <sighs> right here is Alder Beach. As you can see down here in the bottom, I have not played a full round here yet, so. This is my first round. I've played each of the holes separately, so I've got to unlock all of them, but I've not played a full round. So that's what this video is going to be. Yeah, get some turn. Okay, this should be all right. It's going back down here. Oh, okay. So recording has finished. Outtake. This was an outtake. I'm going to put it in the outtakes because my phone ran out of storage. So, uh, to be continued. Oh, I'm just so dynamic. On another latitude, they can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy. I stay blasting off and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy yeah. since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies. I'm so astonishing. I say, Innova, yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog, give me them. Championships, I'm going to give me some. And I'm going to keep on grinding till the millions come.